DCUC fanboy here with another uh, Marvel Universe review of the Silver Surfer. This guy looks pretty cool in his packaging. I mean, let me chill something like that at an angle so we can get a better look at this dude. Uh, just the board. Let me here. Let me get you a closer view. I'm sorry. You know, him and his packaging and the board and the little top secret thing that comes with this card. And I forgot to show you guys, but. Mr. Frank Castle over there comes with his little card. Forgot to show you on that other review. But this card looks pretty tight. Looks like he's being flushed down a toilet. With the water and everything, he's like, no! Shooting his last little bullets. But anyway, um, that's not about him. Anyway, the um, top secret thing, the little uh, shield thingy majiggy right there. It says, include shield file with secret code so ooh. and of course that little thing up there but you have to pay like seven dollars to sign up for this website for that little marvel we got marvel.com slash nick fury you have to pay like seven dollars six ninety nine or whatever five ninety nine to sign up for a subscription which is really stupid and then you get a free marvel universe nick fury uh, figure exclusive and he has like the um the pouch and the uh, and the gun. He comes with like a knife down here at the bottom, something like that. I know he comes with like a gun, and I think I'm pretty sure he comes with a knife and another gun. Really cool. I guess it's kind of worth seven dollars because these things are worth eight dollars. So you'd be getting a uh, free fig. You'd be getting. And they say it's free, but it's. I'm sorry. This isn't your view, your view about that. We're getting on to the um, Silver Surfer uh, review, and this dude looks uh, really awesome. So, actually, I'm going to open him out of his packaging right here, in front of you. Cool, okay. So let's get this bad boy out of here. Oh, his board comes separate, in a little separate thingy. Okay. Here we go. You know, just a normal ripped open box. Uh, let's see what is in the uh, this little thingy right here. Always open it from this side because the other side's all taped down and everything. It's just easier to open it from this side. Here we go. And here. What little card do we come with this time? Ooh, what is this? That's cool. We come with some little code. Enter your code at oh, furyfiles.com. Um, one little top secret spiel to Anthony Stark. As it says to Anthony Stark. And ooh, the silver surfer getting flushed down the toilet. That looks nice. Get close up on that. That looks pretty tight. Alright. Set that aside. With the uh, Frank Castle flushed down the toilet thing. Looks pretty cool. Alright, now let's get this dude out of his packaging. Awesome. Huh. Handles really well. He feels really nice. Feels really skinny. Feels really nice. Oh, that's always nice. Right there. Man, this guy is so articulated. He really is. Let's get his board out. I've had this figure for actually a long time. Just opening him up today, though. Let's see. Mm. Really stiff to go on his board there. Once he goes, he'll, uh. uh once he goes, he won't stay. What pain in the ass. There we go. Now he's not a pain in the ass. See? He looks uh, fairly awesome, in my taste, you know. But um, he looks pretty tight. So um, let's get a close up of this awesome figure and his board. Of course, everybody knows his name is Norman Rad. Some people call say his name is Norman Rad. <laughs> no, he's not Norman Rad. He's Norman Rad. N O R A N R A D. Like, rad, bro. Like, surfer, bro. Silver surfer, rad, bro. Norman, rad, man. But anyway, 
bro. To get a close up of his board and everything. This board actually has some nice detail. If you can see those little lines right there. They follow oh, there we go. Those little lines, if you can see them, you can see them on the edges of the board, the little light. Follows all the way through. Looks very nice, you know the shape of the board. Very cool. The face sculpt, wow, that looks nice. Here, sorry, let me get this. You can get a better close up of this crap. He's not crap. He's a masterpiece. There we go. Nice, nice uh, head sculpt. Looks pretty cool. Looks kind of weird up close. But from far away, it looks really nice. Yeah. Far away, it looks great. Up close, it looks like he's like about to molest a little child. Look at that body sculpt, though. I mean, how do you put the shading in silver? I don't know how they did it, but they did. I guess with a darker touch of silver on the abs. The crack of the abs. All through the, uh, the figure. Now let's see the articulation. Uh, head turns right there. It goes up and down, of course. Head pops off fairly easily. Stick it back in there. It's one at the uh, waist right there. Spins and goes down. That's three points of articulation now. Uh, it goes right there, goes around. Oh, and his arm pops off. It's always nice. Love it when the arms do that. There we go. Okay. Now it's gonna go. Sorry, that was really stiff right there for a second. Alright, um, and goes around and turns right there. Turns right here as well. Uh, the arm goes like that and spins. Arm spins. Oh, and pops off. <laughs> uh, bends at the elbow right there. Pretty nice. Uh, bends at the hand. Uh, same thing. Bends at the elbow. Or, actually, it's a wrist. Bends at the wrist. Um, bends at the legs right here. Or, goes around and goes up and down. Goes, you know, both go out. And they go up and down and back and everything. All that good stuff. Double jointed right here. One. And then bottom point. One, two. And then one. Mmm. Hit bend the top one, there we go. One. And then two. And then one. And two. So, um, it's actually very nice. Expressive articulation. Better than the, uh, the Punishers. Which I'm breaking out here right now. Ugh. There we go. Here we go. Let me stand this guy up. And then I'll stand him up on his board and compare the, uh, the heights. Now, this guy is very skinny compared to the Punisher. I mean, this dude is, like, psh, bony either than crap. He stands very, uh, fairly nicely. Uh, the Punisher. Let me see. There we go. Actually, they uh, stand up pretty nice in scale. His head is bigger than his, though. A lot bigger, so it's kind of weird. Looks like they're from two different companies made, which I don't like. I don't like that kind of look. But I, usually I stand in this way, Silver Surfer on his board. Get that thing down in there. And then, once you have that, it'll stay. So you can just, like, close it, like, I guess like that. And he looks, uh, pretty nice. Uh, so Silver Surfer, yeah, I highly, uh, highly recommend this guy. He's really cool. Um... Has some loose joints, like down at the feet, which, of course, always have loose joints down at the feet. Isn't that nice? The people who are, like, really need their feet to be articulated but not loose always have the loosest and stuff near the feet. I mean, he just looks really cool. Soup looks like he's going to fly right at you. Looks like that. Or if you can try to do a pose like this, I guess. Like he's gonna fly at you. Like a fool, I guess. I don't know. Uh, very cool figure. I highly recommend this, uh, Silver Surfer. The Silver Surfer. Um, yeah, you, sh you should definitely get this guy. He's, uh, very worth getting. And, uh, I give him about, a a good... I don't know, I, I give him about a good 9 out of 10. Very solid figure. Has the shading and everything. Nice sculpt on the figure. I mean, gosh, he's, he's really cool. I'll pick him up. Look at him in the back right there. That's awesome. Anyway, this is DCUC Fanboy saying pick up the Silver Surfer. He's very common. Uh, see you guys later. Okay, bye.